Hello. So I bought a Motu <laughs> M4, which is a uh, deck and preamp. Well, it's actually dual preamp, but only using one channel. Now, a uh, problem I have, have is I was measuring my large tweeters like these. And I noticed, well, it doesn't reach 20K. I, I thought, I believe it did before. So there might be something wrong. And maybe you can hear it in the background. You hear a beep. Uh, and that's interference from somewhere. And I'm using the cinch connectors right now. Let me get you off the pot because it's hard to show you everything. So <clears throat> it's using cinched right now or cinch. I don't know how you call it. Um, I used Neutric connectors, which I really love, but except for the cinch connectors, they are really tight. And this is the way I screwed up my focus, right? So I want to get rid of that. And this one has balanced outputs. So I'm going to try the balanced output and see if we can get rid of this beep. By the way, this beep is normally not as present as it is right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. I'll move closer to a tweeter that makes this beep right now because it's very efficient and there is absolutely maximum gain right now. Um, so I wondered if it's like a balanced cable is gonna fix it. So I'm gonna change up some wiring. Like here, it's going balanced in, but using the cinch. So I'm gonna remove this plug and I'm gonna go completely balanced. Let me do that real quick. So now I have a uh, jack on here and I'll put it in the same channel at the monitor Thing. I still have to figure out if monitor means you can use the main knob or just you can monitor the input, which I don't really want to, but for now I'll put it in here. If I can. Oop. Let's uh, put the amplifier on. And it's quiet. completely quiet so it was interference from maybe well you know maybe the um, hypex or the DSP or the I don't know what it is but uh, it's that quiet now so that's good so I got rid of this and now question is why I didn't see 20k since I have this device and I want to make sure I can measure at least 220k beyond that i don't really care but if i'm playing with tweeters and uh, it drops off at 16k as it did on a measurement of that large one i'm pretty much fucked or not fucked but i want to know if it reaches that if, if i cannot measure it i never know so i'm gonna do a loopback measurement of this device and see how that goes uh, see how high it reaches and you test the output at the same time as you do the input so i'm gonna um, leave this like it is i'm just gonna put the other end of it into the preamp on the front so we can see the uh, outputs here one and two three and four and uh, inputs one, two, three, four. Now one and two are the ones that have a, um, well, preamp for a mic. Phantom, uh, Phantom power is on. And now I have to and I'm gonna put the gain down completely. Uh, by the way, you can see here in the noise floor, 
gain up, gain completely down. And that's like minus 100 and something. And then we do check and we're at minus 20, maybe a little bit more gain. Maybe we decrease the output slightly, 18 dB. Yeah, I like that. So our input will be uh, minus 20. And then let's measure it. And then we have uh, the loopback. We can see how the output, output like a digital to analog works and how well the analog to digital works on the preamp. So every noise and crap we see is actually from the output and from the input. But anyway, uh, if it's like good enough for measurements, I'm pretty sure it will, but let's see. There we have it. So it extends to 45K. And I can zoom in. There is a wiggle here. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think, I think the calibration for my mic is still on. I think that's the case. Change scale, yeah. Hop. Remove the calibration from my microphone because it's not a microphone we are measuring. Then it looks like this. So it kind of flat lines. It does drop off uh, below 30 hertz, so that's something interesting. Nice to keep in mind. Hmm. It's kind of weird. But my worries about the 20 kilohertz thingy is not a problem at all because it reaches much, 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 much higher. Uh, distortion wise, well, I'm not sure. It, it has a slight rising response in a distortion. That's not nice. But then again, we're talking 0, 0.00 something. No speaker or tweeter I make or measure is gonna be that low. I mean, the microphone itself will add far more than that. And uh, let alone my speaker and the amplifier and whatever. So. I think that's completely, um, I don't really mind or care. I'll put this, um, by the way, uh, in the video as an image. I'm recording this right now, which is uh, far from ideal. So thank God it's not the duck. So now I have to check if it might be the DSP. or the microphone. So first I'll measure a tweeter I know will reach 20K that I made some time ago with my old mic and see how that performs. So far, this one is not the, the problem. So just to be clear, because I was wondering why the fuck doesn't reach doesn't it reach 20K? Although in the measurement before, in the loopback, uh, well, it can clearly uh, reach like 40 or 50K, I don't know. Um, I'll use one of these tweeters I used in my um, mini monitors and I know they will reach 20K, so. Just not like a <laughs> proper measurement setup, but it's enough to you know, at least show it was not the DSP that was in between. That is the problem. And it's not the Moto, Mo, Motu, Motu M4. Although we kind of knew that already. So the next question was, 
Was it a DSP? Um, uh, yeah. So there will not be a um, filter in between. Although the DSP is in between, let's filter it a little bit just to not destroy. Oh, there is actually. Do not destroy my um, tiny tweeter. I'll just measure it and see if it reaches 20k. 20k and I'll show you the measurement here. So yeah, if I look at 20k, it perfectly reach it, uh, reaches it fine and then it drops off. And um, well, that's kind of expected because I think that's the DSP itself. But you know the way it rolls off is really nicely. So that's the DSP. So for fun and giggles, I'll switch back to cinch out directly to the amplifier. Just to see how much further it extends. The moto should be able to do that. So now I bypass the DSP. We're gonna measure it again. That's weird, it looks exactly the same, but maybe. So yeah, what is happening is that um, I believe the mic uh, doesn't have like proper response beyond 20K, but I would not think it would drop like this. On, well, maybe they use a filter of some kind? Hmm, that's kind of weird. Well, anyhow, um, if I want to know if it goes uh, till 20k, uh, well, I can uh, measure that. But it seems there is a bottleneck. And as we've seen in the loopback of the Mode 2, it's not the Duck. So it's not the preamp, it's not the output. Uh, we measured with DSP, same result. So I thought the DSP is limiting it, but it's also not limiting it. So it's either the amplifier itself, which is also possible, although I have to look it up. Hypex Encore 400. Does it have like a roll off at the top end? I think it has, but I think a little bit higher than this. So my PD mic itself or the combination of the both. Yeah, weird. Anyhow, I'm pleased. I can get rid of this beep. And uh, yeah, and the duck does, does what it's supposed to do. So I'm happy. See you later.